So when I interviewed you um, on our show, We Need to Talk, thank you again yeah, for no coming problem. on. I appreciate you. And I was doing just my research on you, and I was like, so this is your, I, and I don't remember, at the time I knew, but it's 7th or 18th? Uh, this is my 18th, yeah. 18th, yeah. right? And you had been cut? Like, yeah, seven, seven times. Seven times or yeah, something. Yeah. And I was like, no way. No, you guys are talking about the wrong guy. Like, this is the running back. And they were like, no, this, like, read his story. Yeah. And I was like, the resilience, the hard work, the fight. Like, yeah. can you just talk about, yeah. I guess my question is, one, because that's a lot of no's, yeah. right? In yeah. a career that you're trying to make a career as a pro. Yeah. But that you stayed with it. Like, what was your mindset yeah so let me give you a, a little like background about like my life so i grew up in new or daytona beach florida i was born in daytona beach florida um i was there for about four till i was about four or five and then we moved south uh 15 minutes south to new smyrna beach uh florida mm -hmm. and during the time um there was like it was like the 90s right um, there was a lot of violence in Daytona. Like Daytona was known as like murder capital of the world at one point. And so, you know, we, we kind of migrated a little bit further south to get away from all that. Mm -hmm. And um, it, I, had to, I had to move to like several different houses in my time, right? From the time I was with born. With your family or you mean Yeah, you? with my family. Oh, yeah, okay, with okay. my family. Yeah. So um, it was never really a stable household, right? It was always, like, I don't even have any, like, baby pictures. Like, I don't have any memories of that. Only the ones that my grandfather, my late grandfather has at his house, right? Oh, okay. um, that he took, you know, when he would come and visit us. Yeah. Other than that, like, you know, I didn't really... I hope you guys are enjoying the podcast, but I gotta stop you guys and tell you guys about these Dewar jeans. And these Dewar jeans are truly one of a kind. I mean, they have great material. You can go around in your house, lounge around, and then you could also be in your kitchen cooking up something. Or if you like workouts like myself, you can also work out in them. They're truly one of a kind. Right now, my listeners can get 15% off site-wide when you use my special URL, shopduer.com slash motivated. You'll want to take advantage of this because Dewar Doer never goes on sale. Don't wait. To get 15% off, go now to shopdoer.com slash motivated. I didn't really have a stable background, mm -hmm. a stable home. And so I was always, you know, intrigued on, hey, look, this is this is what I want to do. And I learned something very early. I, I believe I was like eight or nine when I realized, like, this is not how you're supposed to live, right? Mm -hmm. I was dealing with domestic violence in my house, watching my mom get beat up. Um, I was dealing with alcoholism, um, wow. all that stuff. Yeah. And it, it as trauma. a young, yeah, it was a trauma, right? So like as a young, early age, I'm like, no, this is not how I envision a true household to be. Mm -hmm. And so I made it an obligation and a goal of mine, you know, to, to set out and one, to have a beautiful family, um, and, and two, to be, you know, educated to, you know, feel like I was a Do part that. of something. Yeah. You know, I want to be a business owner someday. Mm -hmm. I want to I want to be able to sit back, you know, and, and truly be blessed about the opportunities that I uh, that came towards me and and you know, I ran with them and and I never looked back and never questioned one one bit. Mm -hmm. And so, um yeah, all that trauma just helped me build who I am today. Yeah. Um, you know, I I I'm the only person in my family to graduate from a, uh, you know, a major university. Mm -hmm. um, nobody in my family um, has ever attempted to even go to college. You know, college, my, my mom was going to community college and then dropped out. Um, my dad at the time, um, he just stopped, stopped. He was a basketball fan, huge basketball fan. Mm -hmm. um, and he just, just went on and, and didn't get any scholarships and just went to construction. You know, that was his, uh -huh. his thing. And so he was a, a social worker. Mm -hmm. um, and so that, that's what drove me to be more than just what was around me. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, I was, I was sitting back and, and knowing that my dad was a big time basketball fan. And I'm like, I'm not, I don't have the height. You yeah, know, he was yeah. like six, three, you know, and, and really? I'm, yeah, and I'm five eleven. So it was like, eh, you know, I, I don't know if I can, I can probably the early weights. Yeah. yeah Maybe. It might've been, it might've been. <laughs> did any of your other siblings turn out taller? Uh, no. Well, actually my younger brother did. Yeah. Yeah. How he's, he's about, he's six one. 
Yeah. Oh, okay. So, okay. Um, but you know, I I was like, you know what, I'm I'm just gonna play football. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. and and so I asked him to put me in football at, at the age of six or seven. And oh really? Yeah, You're I ready? Was, yeah, I was I was playing early, and so I just made a. I made an impact there, and you know, every year. Were you playing tackle or? From yeah, the, I was playing tackle from the jump. From day one. From day one, wow. yeah, tackle from day one, um, and so it it just it, I was fascinated by the game, like, I, and I just grew grew up to be a fan of it. Yeah. And so. Um, I'm fascinated by the game too. I gotta yeah. say, 